clock's ticking. Clock's ticking. I thought we started out uh, really with a lot of energy, and uh, as the day went on, we kind of waned a little bit in enthusiasm, waned a little bit, I thought, in the energy level, which really is not good if you got to try to play full 60 minutes or beyond. So, uh, and you know, obviously it's a little bit warmer than it's been in all our other practices, but um, we just got to continue to push through that. Um, it wasn't super hot, it was just hotter than what we're used to, I guess, so that might be a little bit of a factor. But I think overall everybody's uh, trying to do what they're supposed to do, the way they're supposed to do it. And, um, so with that, I'll just let you all ask you whatever you want to ask. Mark, uh, Trey Matthews back out there today. Is that a positive sign that he's going to well, be yeah, good to go? Yeah, he, he practiced, and, uh, so that was good. He looked rusty at all out there? I was so hard to really gauge. It was mostly scout team work, and uh, the tempo wasn't just blazing. Um, but he did get in, He got into some competitive drills, and uh, he looked fine. I, I uh When the guy's coming off a hamstring, you just it's gonna be a couple of days before you really feel like he's over the hump, you know. So hopefully he will be. Hopefully no more setbacks. He's not ready to declare the start of the day no. on his back. No. How many uh, kids you plan on taking, Clemson? Well, we don't have a limitation, obviously. Mm -hmm. no. We take as many as we want. Um, our goal is to take um, the uh, the number of guys that we need to compete, and then there may be a few guys we bring to reward, uh, you know, some good effort or whatever it might be. We can use that this game for that type of thing. But if you have too many guys, even if they're all good guys or however you want to say it. And if they're all focused, the more you have, the harder it is to keep uh, a team focused. And especially if you bring guys that know they're not going to play. If you bring too many of those guys, then they have a hard time helping everybody else stay ready. So I, I'm not, I don't want to bring too many. I, I, we don't have a number yet, but that's kind of the criteria. Were you, uh, it's unusual it's such a late game on Saturday. Will you go up the night before or will you bust up the day of the game? Yeah, we'll go the night before. You will go the night before? Oh, yeah, we will. Um, They'll get to sleep in, you know, the first event they have. They'll be able to get up and get breakfast. Any early risers can get it, but it won't be mandatory. And the, uh, the first meal will be, you know, later, you know, later in the morning, close to close to noon, actually. Um, no, no temptation at all not to do the overnight thing you prefer? No, I, I think you need to go. I, I, I think the biggest part of going out of town, well, maybe not the biggest part, but one of the, main features of it is just to get away from everything and, and know where everybody is, know everybody's focused, know everybody's getting their rest, know everybody's in, you know, going to bed on time, all that type of thing. Plus we uh, get to feed them good. Uh, so all that uh, works together. Mark, the number of uh, true freshmen and redshirt freshmen that you're going to count on in the on the defense, I guess it was inevitable with the turnover you had there, but uh, are you, is that an indication how pleased you are with, with uh, them as a group? Well, we are. I mean, some guys are playing by virtue of the lack of depth, and some guys are playing because they they uh, earned the, the right to move ahead of some veterans. So it's a little bit of both in there. And uh, anytime you lose as many star starters as we did, you're going to have inexperienced guys jump in there. And uh, you'd like to have everybody who's been on board kind of working towards their day to be uh, – good enough to handle it because you you want to have as much experience at least within your system that you can. <clears throat> Sometimes a guy jumps in there and, and has got great ability and, and shows the ability to learn and, and is a, seems to be a mature enough guy that you can give him more responsibility than other freshmen. And uh, so you gotta, you got to play him. Brendan Langley is a guy that obviously there wasn't the depth, but he also seems to be giving Sheldon a push. What, what is Brendan done to well, I just described him. You know, a guy with ability, a guy who can learn, and a guy that is dependable, a guy that is focused on, on 
wanting to come in as a freshman and, and play like a veteran. And he's taken that approach in the offseason from what I hear. Um, I know he was in tremendous condition when he got here. Um, and, uh, and he's just done a good job of, of learning what to do and gaining the trust of the coach. That's what it all comes down to, you know, what, what a guy – well, the guy gained the trust of, of his position coach and his coordinator to get him in the game, and uh, he's done that.